youth runner here with uh, the Magnificent Trio. Uh, Ella on my right, Aubrey in the middle, Elaney on my left. Uh, all three in the top 10, five in the top 20 for uh, for Augie. Back to back championships in the Suzy Wilson uh, Women's Maroon 6K here at the Roy Griak Invitational. Uh, it's the sixth title overall for the program and the first repeat since 07 and 08. Uh, Ella in third place overall, uh, 35, 36 seconds improvement from, uh, from last year. Obviously, conditions uh, were about as great as we could ask for here at, at Les Bowl staff, but just uh, how, uh, how, you know, how proud and how excited were you about, about what the team did collectively? I think you know we're all about the team and just what we can do for the team, and we're not running for each other. Or we're not running for ourselves. We're running for each other, and just having that team center focus just really helps us all succeed. The fact uh, that it, it's only September 20th, and obviously this group knows, you know, that it's a marathon and not, uh, not a sprint, and not just because it's cross country season, uh, but just how how encouraged have you been about? the consistency of the training and then being able to apply it to such a high level race like today? Yeah, um, we're not focused on September. It's all about what happens in November. So we know that there's still two months left in the season and you know we're still training hard, we're still training through. So I think winning today just gives us a lot of hope and that makes us really excited for the rest of the season. Awesome, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. The trail queen, uh, many championships in Colorado and now obviously another one uh, for Augie here on Minnesota soil. Aubrey, uh, just uh, how have you kind of uh, assessed like the, the base, the foundation that you were able to establish in, uh, in, in the summer, uh, because obviously you're doing it in a very unique fashion uh, to a lot of people, not only in the Augie program, but obviously in all of uh, Division Two and all of collegiate running. But then, uh, you know, how, you know how good you feel about how it's applied to this early season already? Yeah, I feel like um, definitely having a good base from altitude. I'm currently coming back from injury, so I'm not where I want to be. But I think that's where I'm so blessed to have a team that, like, when you're down, they bring you up and they support you, and then we just support each other. So. So I think um, I'm not where I want to be, but I know that our team is really strong right now and I'm really excited for what we have in store. But the beauty of the, the great Augie teams, not just this one, right, is, uh, and like Ellen just talked about, it is about team. It's, you know, for as much as all of you bring a great dynamic and a great energy, it's when the best Augie teams are winning conference championships and placing the highest at NCAAs it's kind of almost nameless and faceless, right? It's just like, it doesn't matter the order, just as long as we're all doing it together. And you know, and so is that kind of just what you're leaning on? Is just like, I know that you're gonna be ready, you know, when, when the time is right come conference, you know, and, uh, and you know, and, and the postseason. But just the fact that it's just like, hey, you know, uh, I can give myself grace, I can be patient, I can trust in the process because I have this incredible group around me. Yeah, no, 100%, and even, I mean, you can see, like, our girls in the race, we're, like, hitting our butts, like, we're, like, come on, girls, and, like, you know, Lainey coming up, like, I know she was dealing with stuff, and then, like, Ella, too, like, we're we're strong, but when we when you put us together, it's, like, I don't feel as weak, personally, Right. you know, so we'll be we'll be ready. That's, uh, that's why, you know, the, the hallmark of this group at the Drake Relays is always because of the relays, and not because of any individual performances. Lainey, to, uh, to that point, you moved so well uh, in, in, in the second half of the race. I know it takes a lot of grit, you know, and uh, and a lot of resilience to be able to, uh, to do so. Like, just how important is it that Tracy puts you ladies uh, and, you know, and the guys, like, in situations like this where it's like you really got to, you got to dig down deep because, like, you know, the course here is nothing like the course in Sacramento. You know, uh, Sacramento is just a lot of flat terrain and, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of turns and undulations. Like, this is a woman's course. This is an adult course. Like, yeah. so the fact that you can perform so well on this course, like, how, you know, how good does that kind of project to what you hope to do later in the year? Yeah, well, Tracy said he sends us here because it's a tough course. It's a challenging course. We go out here and it, it really builds character. Like, if we can do this and execute well and perform on a course like this, even though it has not much to do with nationals, then we can go and do that anywhere. And I think a lot of teams opt for easier courses and go and just rip 6Ks there. But I think it also helps us peak at the right time kind of lay low, work on tough courses like this, but yeah. Speaking of, of laying low, uh, you know, ac according to somebody's metric, you know, that this is one of the best teams in the country. I don't need a metric. I have the eye test to know that this is one of the best teams in the country. But, just, but the, what the thing I appreciate the most about the three of you and your team is just the humility, right? It's just like, let everybody focus on all the RMAC teams or Grand Valley State and whatnot. It's just like, we'll show up in November in Sacramento like when we're supposed to. Like, is it just the, the humility and just kind of just the trust in each other and not worrying about anything you know, outside of, uh, of South Dakota? Like, is that, is, is that kind of like, you know, one of the, the fabrics of why this team is consistently so good? For sure. We're very inward focused and only care about what we're doing. I mean, 
I don't, if you ask people on the team, I'm not sure if they know how other teams are performing at this time of year, and I think that's really helpful. Go in blind, trust each other, trust in our coach and our training and what we and ourselves and what we've done up to this point. Put our trust in God that he'll help us execute it when it matters. Faith in each other, faith in the man above, uh, and obviously they honored the audience of, uh, of one along with everybody here at Les Bulls. Golf Course. Eleni 7th, Aubrey 10th. Ella third, uh, five women in the top 20, and another championship here at the Roy Griac Invitational for, uh, for Augustana. Back-to-back -back, uh, and six overall. Ladies, congrats. Thank you.